In this video, we're going to see how to make a lookup in a talent. We're going to use this row generator to generate some sample customer data. This customer data has an abbreviation for a country for each customer. And we're going to look this up with this fixed for input component, joining this data together and outputting it first to the console and later to the database. So let's go ahead. Here's the complete example. The complete example we're going to use a little bit in this case by copying those two components. Okay, so select row generator, press uh, control on your keyboard, select the other component. Okay, and now you press control C. And in your new job, you press control V to paste in these components. Now we move that a little bit around and we see them both again. They were both copied. And first to recall a little bit what a data is actually there in these uh, in the row generator and this fixed for input, we connect each of them to a log row component and switch this log row component to table mode and execute in this end job. Okay. but it does not have any information. Why? What's the matter now? Hmm, and now it's showing information. It was a bit weird. It was not showing information a moment ago, but here we can see, and this is our customer data, right? And it's got abbreviations like call or ESP uh, for the respective countries. And here we have uh, basically the translations two columns, the short code and the complete name in English. All right, and we want to join those with a tmap now. So I'm going to eliminate in this connection and eliminate as a logo component. And I'm moving this logo component over here. And I'm uh, searching for a tmap component to insert and connect first in the row generator because it will be our main input and then our lookup, which is in this fix for input. Okay, our lookup, we can rename that clients. And here, uh, sorry, countries. Uh, countries. And here, clients. Why do I do that? Uh, because a tmap uh, editor itself that we're going to use in a, in a few seconds. It can be quite complex if you have a bigger lookups. Okay, but one more thing we do now before we go to the tmap editor, we also take this O from tmap, this output, and connect it to log row and give this a name and we call this customer out and click OK. And we can already say a yes to get the target components schema. That also helps us in tmap by having to define less things manually. Okay, now getting to the tmap editor is easy. Double click on the components icon and we can now see on the left hand side we got one input which is clients, the other input which is our lookup countries and on the right hand side our output customer out. Okay, and as we already uh, had this schema passed before with the log row uh, to uh, tmap, it already has in this uh, schema here. Okay, so what we can do now to make our lives even easier is use AutoMap. So talent on the left hand side will look for columns with the same name basically and put them here as a connection in the expression area. All right, so now for what is in country, we want to search that here in country code. So we simply take that, drag and drop this on expression key for the column country code and then the column country name. We add that here at the bottom to our customer out uh, output. All right, and for this to work, we obviously have to do a inner join, and this can be configured by going here to this small icon with a red uh, dot on it. It's called a tmap uh, settings. You click on that and these four options open, and here in the join model, you select inner join and click OK. And also on a mapping, we click on OK, and we propagate the changes because now obviously one more column is getting passed to a T and logo component. All right, so we execute our job to see in the result on the console. 
and we should be able to observe that the countries are translated correctly by our references. For example, DOI is in Germany, COL is Colombia, and uh, for the other ones, respectively. All right, and if I now want to load this uh, data into the database, I can go to metadata here in the repository, select my database connection, which is MySQL local, drag and drop that into my job, and convert that to TDB output, right? Because I want to write my clients now after the lookup to the database. And I can pass on the information from Logro. And I don't want it to get in the target schema here uh, because I want to create a new table. Okay, so how to do that? We can in this case say uh, action on table, this drop table if exists and grade. And I don't want to have this table sales. I want this table to be called clients uh, customer out, like the output from Tmap customer out. Okay, and the action on data should be insert. All right, so one more thing we have to do is here sync uh, columns. So the input from this uh, row one is also reflected here and is used to create the table in my database. All right, so now I execute my job. We can see that it runs successfully here in the interface. We could also deactivate this T logro component and it would still pass the data to the DB output component. Okay, and we can now verify in our uh, database. It can show tables, and we can now see here there's a customer out. And so we can say select uh, how many uh, rows are there, count asterisk from customer out, right? There are 100. And now we can change that to see a small selection of the data. Sorry, not this way, but this way. We can put a limit, let's say from the 10th, we want to see 10 rows. And we see a small subset of the data, which went to the database from which we actually looked up and joined here in Talent. All right, and that's how to make a look in Talent.